Hello, hello design champions. Welcome to the greatest place in this apartment building. My apartment. Bienvenido a todos. Hello. Quick update on the MedComCo logo. Last time I presented you with three color options and I also presented them. What they've chosen to go with is the turquoise green direction, which honestly I think is I think is solid. I think it's really good. I think it's ev evocative of health. And this was what you guys voted. Here are the poll results. So uh, both turquoise and umber were up there. Pretty good, pretty good options. In today's episode of making design stuff things, objects. <laughs> I have uh, two projects. Number one. All right. Remember Spark Squared with our friend Florian. So uh, the logo that they chose to go with was this boy, Shapes Boy. Basically, the first thing on our agenda is I'm going to get started on a a website redesign revamp for them. And then the second thing I want to do is I want to start a new video series titled things I learned this week's. <laughs> so I need to make a little, a little bit of an intro animation and, and, and guess what? There might even be a little intro song <laughs> if, if I can get, if I can get my producer to work with me. Yeah, I've been working with Timbaland a lot and also we the best music, DJ Khaled. Um, so if I can get either one of them to make me a song, then uh, we'll definitely have that for the intro for uh, uh, what I learned this week's. All right, let's get started with the project with the website redesign for Florian. Okay, so this is the website now. Um, I think it's actually very modern, very clean, well laid out. Um, there's a lot of good spacing. The images are good. The typography is very good. I actually really love um, the numbers over here. That's a really cool element. But I think what we need in this redesign is something a little bit more fun, maybe a little bit more colorful. And maybe if there's a way we can strategically break like a traditional layout, that would also be very good to do. So, um, he uh, Florian linked me to some uh, some website ideas that he really likes um, different aspects of each one so um, I'm, I've been looking through these for some inspiration uh, the one thing that kind of they all share in common is that the first main page is kind of like a big either a really big image with text overlaid that's just like the, the main copy for what they want to say um, which is kind of interesting. So I'm gonna get started with probably some UI elements laying out where things should go and just on uh, with a pencil and paper and see see what we can do from there. And then once I've got something good uh, sketched out or a good initial direction, I can move that into El Photoshop and, uh, and, and start working on that. So uh, let's see how that goes. Oh, look, at, that's me. In hyperspeed. No, that's regular speed. I met a, I met an elderly woman once who asked me, what superpower would you like to have? And I said, I want to be able to sketch UI designs as fast as possible. And she said, okay, my son, you will now have the ability. <laughs> okay, so that laugh that I just did, there was a hiccup in the middle of it which made it even weirder. No. <laughs> okay, this takes the award for the strangest voiceover. I haven't talked about the design at all. Uh, this is the design, let's talk about it. Basically, I wanna bring some organicness, some color. Now, I'm not, I'm not convinced on any of this stuff so far. What I got the best thing out of the whole uh, paper time was I drew out what was on the website now and then I wrote out all the contents of like each section and then I was able to systematically think, okay, what is actually the important information? Where should that be? And then I can reference some of the inspiration websites we looked at to get an idea of, uh, of, of how we should align it up. So uh, the, for the top part, I, I wanted to bring in an image because I think the big 
Minecraft worlds, custom worlds are very persuasive and very fun and cool. So I put that in an image, but I gave it like a little bit of a swoop, swoop sort of a thing. Um, and then I wanted a clear button that would get started. And I think that one might just go to like the contact page at the end um, because I'm thinking about people who come to the website and maybe they already know, oh, this is who I want to work with. Yeah. So uh, this is where I got so far, just three sections laying it out. Um, and not pleased with it yet, but this is just our first stab at it. So that's what I got, y'all. That's what I got. Let me know what you think. Okay, boys and girls, that's where I'm gonna stop uh, today's project for the redesign of Spark Squared. I will be continuing the process, and I'll probably document it on video if you'd like to see. <laughs> All right, next up, next project. I want to make a video series called What I Learned This Week's, <laughs> which will basically include a couple of different ideas. Number one, it'll be like actual technical things that I learned in Illustrator or Photoshop or After Effects, whatever little tips and tricks that I picked up throughout the week. Um, and then the second thing will be, either, maybe I've picked up some things about freelancing or um, just think of stuff from what I've been reading recently. Uh, and then I can put all those together into little snippet snapshots of like three to four to five things that I think are pretty interesting for that week. And then I can put them into a, a little video called uh, what I learned this week's. <laughs> and then each week's I can I can talk about what I learned the previous week's. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for that. But basically, I want this intro animation to be um, kind of fun. I think it's kind of cool in Photoshop it's a lot easier to use make like texture animations so maybe maybe I'll think about that for now but uh, 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 stay tuned for that okay my friends here is the intro animation for what I learned this week's what I learned what I learned this week's Okay, I hope you awesome possum uh, design champions enjoyed both projects this week and that you're excited to see the final outcome uh, for both. What I learned this week will be coming out sometime this week, possibly. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, stay awesome possum, and I'll see you later, alligator, on another video, probably tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys.